Hello everybody, this is Efren. I'm going to make a quick video. Um, and when I say quick video, I mean a very quick video. I'm recording uh, with my cell phone and I'm using a table lamp as my uh, placeholder here to help me. I'm going to make a quick video on subnetting and the method that I employ to subnet what I think is very quickly and very painlessly. Um, it really makes subnetting easy. The first thing that I do is I make myself a little magic chart. Um, it's a magic chart that you may or may not have seen in other videos before. Um, but what you do is you start making columns. You start with 2 to the power of 7, and then you go 2 to the power of 6, 2 to the power of 5, 2 to the 4, 2 cubed, and keep going all the way down to when you get 2 to the power of um, now when you do the math on these, you're going to get 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and finally 1. Now underneath it, you're going to write what eventually you're going to realize is the subnet masks. You're going to write 128 plus 64, which is 192 plus 32, which is 224, uh, 240, 248, plus 4, 252, plus 2, 254, plus 1, 255. <clears throat> so when you're looking at this chart, the top number right here, which is the powers of 2, is going to be your block sizes. And the bottom column that's down here is going to be your mask values. Now I'm going to get the phone a little bit closer so that you can get a real good look at this chart. This chart right here, if I can get to focus, is what you really want because it will make your subnetting go by a lot quicker. And I'll show you why here. <clears throat> Let's say we had the IP 10.33. 66.99 and we gave it a slash of we'll call it 11 um, before I begin this I want to show you something about these slashes here just in case um, you're not sure what's going on um, I hope that you understand that slash 11 is going to be exactly the same thing as slash 19 and slash 19 is going to be exactly the same thing as slash 27. Um, the reason why is if you had an octet or a byte of information, you had, you know, eight bits, which I'm just going to write as zeros, and you put a slash right here, depending on which octet we're looking at, this could be the 11th bit, the 19th bit, or the 27th bit in an IP address. Um, which is why I like this chart so much. So back to the um, IP that we're going to subnet here. If we're looking at 10.33.66.99 and we're working with the slash 11, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go 9, 10, 11. And now I know that I'm working with the subnet mask of 224 with block sizes of 32. And I'm going to write that right down here. Subnet mask will be dot two two four. And our BS, which is not bullshit, but our block size will be 32. <clears throat> now, because this is a slash 11, I know that we're going to be working with the second octet here. So I'm going to go ahead and write 10 dot blank dot zero dot zero because we're going to find the net ID. And the way that I do this very quickly is I'll look at my block size. And then I'll look at the octet or the uh, bit of information that I need to work with. I know that I'm going to be working with 33 right here. What I need to do is find out how many times 32 will fit into 33. It's very clear that it's going to fit in there just one time. I'm going to write 32 here. And then I'm going to write its next uh, multiple. So this would be 32 times 1, 32 times 2. That's going to be 64 right down here. <clears throat> When I do this, let's say I want to even go a step further and go to 96. These right here are going to be our net IDs for the subnets that we're working with. If we want to do 96 plus 32, that's 8. 
12.128 would be the next network ID in this subnet that we're working with. But we already know that 33 is going to fall somewhere between 32 and 64. So we know that our network ID will be 1032, 10.32.0.0. And we already know what the next uh, network ID is going to be. And we know that our broadcast ID is one below the next network ID. So our broadcast is going to be 10. Dot sixty three dot two five five dot two five five. So here's our network ID and here's our broadcast ID. And since we used the correct to already go ahead and find out what our subnet mask is going to be, we can write that in as well. It'll be two five five dot two two four dot zero dot zero. And that's subnet right there. So let's go ahead and do another one just to further draw the concept of the diversity of this uh, chart. So if I have a piece of paper and I'm going to subnet something, first thing I do is write down my little magic chart. 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, and a 1 right there. Next, I'm going to do the subnet masks. 128 plus 64 is 192, plus 32 is 224, plus 16 is 240, etc. And we're going to end at 255 right here. So I got my magic chart written down. I'm going to take the phone, let you look at it closer, see if I can get the camera to uh, focus. And that's where you want to start every time. You want to memorize this chart, write out the second column, and then begin subnetting whatever you would like to subnet. This time, we're going to subnet the IP 192.168.18.101, and we're going to make this a slash 29. Slash 29, we're going to begin. We know we're going to be working the fourth octet. We're going to start at 24, this is 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So we're going to be working with a subnet mask value of 248 with block sizes of 8. I'm going to go ahead and write that down right here. SM248 and BS, which is block size of 8. <clears throat> now I know we're working in the fourth octet. I want to find out how many times 8 is going to fit into 101. I know that 8 times 10 is 80, so I'm just going to go ahead and start there. 80 plus 8 is 88, plus 8 is 96, plus another 8 is 104. 101 is going to fit somewhere inside of this range, so if you think about it, we already got our network and broadcast IDs. Our network ID is going to be 192.168.18.96. And <clears throat> this is our network ID right here. We know that the broadcast ID is going to be one below, so it's going to be dot one zero three. Just going to write out the whole IP, and now we know that this is our net, this is our broadcast, and our subnet. We already found the subnet mask is going to be two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two fifty five dot two forty eight. And now we just subnetted that one right there very quickly because we used our magic chart right here. <clears throat> we, instead of converting into binary or multiplying two times whatever, we just used our magic chart. We found out what the subnet mask was. We found our block size and we multiplied our block size to find out what the network ID would be and what the next network ID would be. Um, and we just get the whole lot of work. We did this in one very quick way, I believe.